in this segment of Dave and Wally Roofing It Right, we're going to talk about probing. I'm Dave. I'm Wally. And you know, in my top 10 list, 90%, I would say, maybe a little bit more, of the problems are not probing. The contractor has to probe on a daily basis. It's the best time to do it when the, when the sheet is clean. Now he can make an easy repair, get it done, and, and just move on. When you're doing a single ply roof, you want to start at one end, get it done every day, get that section done. So now you're not traveling back over it. All right, talking about contractors probing our work. Or when you're on a job, you're moving on the curb or whatever, do you probe your own work? Oh, I absolutely do, yeah. Well, you should, I mean, just as a check, but not as the final probe because you're going to find anything wrong in your work. Oh, no. Never. Just like me, we're perfect, right? <laughs> there you go. Now, do you, anybody doesn't like you? Well, there's one or two, I'm sure, somewhere. So my point is, Maybe. you really don't want to probe your own work for the final check. Now, take this how you want to. You want to find somebody that doesn't like you to probe your work. Because like I said, we're all perfect, right? We're not going to find anything wrong with our work. Um, I mean, it's just human nature. So at the end of the day, the whole thing is you've got to probe your work. Speaking of probing, um, there's a right way and wrong way to probe. And there's also different probes out there on the market. Typically, when they're brand new, they're sharp as a needle. You actually have to dull these down. I don't know if you can see this. You can actually cause more damage than you're trying to avoid with this probe. It's fairly simple. Take a, a, a file. Basically, you're just going to dull this thing down. You want to round that point off. You don't really want a sharp edge on that probe. It doesn't take much to do. A TPO, PVC is fairly abrasive material. The more you're using it, you're actually sharpening it up. Yeah, it's amazing. You you can do three, four, five hundred feet of it, and it'll get just razor sharp. Yep. And if you're not in that pro in that seam, you can actually cut the roof. I've seen many roofs where you're where they're probing, and all of a sudden they come out of the seam, and you see a nice big gash. Well, that's that now you're cutting down to the scrim. Now it needs to be repaired. So always dull your your probe, especially new contractors getting into the, the commercial sandbox, if you will. You're laying out a lot of roof, you know, a 10 by 100 or 12 by 100, that's 10 to 12 squares a shot. Uh, pretty soon you come upon, you know, an obstacle, well, well, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, let's probe tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's the next day, the next day, next day. Now you're at the end of the job and it can get ugly in a heartbeat. So you've got to do this every day. I know it sounds like we're beating a, beating a, a horse here, but you've got to do this every day. It's simple as that. Well, and then you're, you're, you're cleaning too. Yes. As Mark says, that's, that's the biggest waste of time and money on a roof is cleaning a roof when you could do it as you go. Yeah, I, I, I bet if, you, if we could speak to the audience, we have estimators out there, how many guys have time figured in their job oh, for cleaning? Uh, probably none. Maybe uh, rags, sure. cleaner, but yeah. time? Yeah, yeah so. no. I have one more question for you. Yeah. How many safety glasses do you actually need? This well, is why I cannot find safety glasses. You know, it's just... None back there. No, okay. Everything's out front here where I can see it, where I can grab it. Okay. Okay. Right. 